As a crime prevention practitioner, Andrew has over 27 years of experience teaching associations and individuals how to live, work, and play more safely. Hello, my name is Andrew Wooten, and I'd like to welcome you to the Ohio Association of Realtors Safety Series of videos. These videos are designed to help you work, play more safely. Our whole process as we go through this is to teach you different things that you can do in a short period of time that can dramatically reduce the chances of you being victimized. We care about you and your safety is important to us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your second portion of your self-defense class. This program we're gonna be talking about today is highly emotional. We're gonna be talking about a conversation that nobody wants to talk about. We're gonna be talking about rape and what you can do to, to really make somebody let you go, to get somebody off of you when you find yourself in that extreme situation. We've also provided to you at the end of this program a variety of resources that are available to you in your communities. Folks, we hope you never have to use the information we're sharing with you today. But if you do, remember, trust yourself, listen to yourself. You are your most important weapon. Look forward to chatting with you at the end of this program. I want to talk about a conversation that nobody really wants to talk about. And it's an emotional conversation. So here's what I'd love for you to do. As we go through this conversation, I'd love for you to do this for me. Matter of fact, everybody take a deep breath in. Let it go. I like to talk about rape. And I like to go over the most common scenarios for rape. And I want to talk about rape starting with what you would probably think is the most likely conversational subject for rape. Jason, like to have you come forward. I'd like to talk to you about men being raped because our men are being raped at an alarming rate. One of the, one of the traditions is as you leave the penal system, as you leave the jail system, as you leave the prison system, to be initiated into the gang that you were involved with in the prison, you have to rape another man on the outside. The bigger we are, the more of a target we are for being raped. A lot of them are using this drug called GHB, which is unfortunately available at a lot of our local stores, which is used for a legitimate purpose. However, if it's loaded into a syringe and I squirt it six, eight feet across the room and it falls into your beer, your glass of wine, you can't taste it, you can't smell it, you drink it, Three to five minutes later, you have an uncontrollable urge to go use the restroom. As you get up to go use the restroom, your legs are getting real wobbly, and then all of a sudden, here's your buddies there to help you along. With GHB, you never completely lose consciousness, and on tape, you appear to be a willing partner because it makes you just extremely pliable. It makes you extremely pliable. So what I'd love for you to do while you're out at happy hour, take your glass of wine, take your beer, put your fingers over the top of it. If you feel some liquid hit your hands, Get rid of it, go wash your hands, it may be time to leave. Drink ever. Unattended. Don't ever leave your drink unattended. But if you wake up at night or somebody has a knife and they have you pinned down, they have a knife to your throat, here's what I'd love for you to do. Cross your ankles. By crossing your ankles, if he's laying on his stomach and his ankles are crossed, it's impossible for me to actually penetrate him. So now what's going to actually have to happen is I'm going to have to roll him over, Gordon and Cross. I'm going to have to roll him over this way. Now he has a chance to use his strength and to use his ability to fight back. But when he's laying on his stomach and I have a knife against him this way, there's not a lot he can do. But if he crosses his ankles, I can't enter him anally. Okay? I can't enter him anally because he's not a willing participant. Okay? He's not a willing, so therefore I'm going to have to roll him, which, which gives him the ability to fight back. Okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Liz is, they're one and two, they're throwing Cheerios at the TV, watching Nickelodeon. She's in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt she wouldn't be caught dead outside her house in. She's sitting here <laughs> washing dishes. Billy's off, you know, playing golf, relaxing, doing something outside the house. She feels comfortable. Her kids are good. Husband's out, she's relaxed and sitting here washing some dishes, and all of a sudden she feels a tap on her shoulder. As she turns and looks, there's a man there with a gun. Or a knife, you choose the weapon. He says, let's go to your bedroom. Folks, what do you do? You go to the bedroom. 
What is rape all about? Control. Control. control, power. And what we want to do is give him the illusion that he's in control. So we go to the bed and he says, sit on the bed. You sit on the bed. Don't do this next portion. He says, take off your clothes. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take off your clothes. Mm -hmm. How long is the average rate? Two hours. Two to two and a half hours. Yes. Wow. Penetration is less than 30, 40 seconds of the entire encounter. Rape is about control. As I'm standing in front of you and you're laying on this bed, I'm running a knife up and down your body. I'm making small puncture wounds for you can see drops of your own blood. Why? What is that causing you to do? <laughs> That's what they're getting off on. Finally, he decides he wants oral sex. He drops his pants. He stands in front of you. And as he's pulling your head towards his penis, what's your overwhelming urge? Bite. Bite. Folks, whatever you do, do not bite his penis. If you bite his penis, it will cause him a great deal of pain. And he will either cut you with that knife more ways than you can imagine, or he will shoot you with that gun. Okay? Causing him pain. Remember we talked about pain versus incapacitation? We want to incapacitate the person, not to cause him pain. So as he's pulling your head towards his penis, ladies, what's dangling right down here? <laughs> I want you to reach up, gr grab, squeeze, twist, and yank. It's not humanly possible for you, to se for you to separate him from his body, but I want you to give it your best attempt. Okay? Here's what's going to happen. <laughs> remember when we started, folks, do you remember when we started this conversation and I talked about you in your kitchen making that peanut butter and jelly sandwich and you walked around the corner and somebody surprised you? When you reach up and you grab, squeeze, twist, and yank his testicles, guess what? Just like that peanut butter and jelly sandwich went flying out of his hand, the gun, the knife will go flying out of his hand because it will be <laughs> massive pain in an immediate, in immediate faction. So when she reach up, I got the knife to her throat. She reaches up, she grabs, ah, the knife is gone. Mm -hmm. I'm on the ground in massive pain. As you stand up, I want you to resist the urge to give me a couple swift kicks <laughs> to stomp on me because here's the reason why. My equilibrium is off. I don't know way left, right, up, down. And the last thing I want to do is to grab your legs and pull you down with me. So as soon as he goes down, you get up and you get out. I know this conversation we've had today has been rather emotional. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to continue to look out for each other, to listen to each other, to share information with each other. If there's anything we've talked about in here where you need more additional help, there's some resources available to you. Also, you can also contact me at andrew at justbesafe.com and we can get whatever resources we need to you. Folks, your safety is important to us. Remember, just be safe.